gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys uh, checking the video out today. Man, got an exciting day. Gonna go pick up my new 2023 uh, Skeeter FX20 bass boat from Boatworks today. So I'm heading over there right now. And uh, what I was gonna do is when I get over there, I'm just gonna show you guys the new rig, let you guys check it out, um, sort of go over all the equipment on it. And I thought you guys might like to check that out. So uh, here we go, stay tuned. Okay guys, here we are pulling into Boatworks, man. This is the uh, Hoggers Mecca. It's not only Boatworks here, but they uh, got the Baitworks Tackle Store. And man, if you guys are looking for a boat or tackle, this is the place to come in. These guys are hardcore hoggers that own this place. They fish tournaments. Uh, they know what the heck's going on. You will not be disappointed at all with that. So. I think I see the boat there. There's on the other side there, it's tarped up. So we're gonna roll around here and check it out, man. I think there it is right there, tarped up with the Bridgeford. So we'll get into it here in a second. Okay, we got her all hooked up, man. Gonna take it over to the park and uh, take the cover off of it. And then we'll show you everything about the new rig here. Okay guys, here we are with the new rig. Gonna take the cover off here and get into it a little bit. and. You know the thing about this is like um man i start when i started out bass fishing uh i bought my first boat when i was 16 years old i found a leaking flat bottom boat at a rum itself for sale for 200 dollars, and it had a trailer on it and i bought a 1967 nine horse motor and so i had like a total of like 500 dollars in my first bass boat i put a little deck in it and a trolling motor and fished out of that thing for like four years and uh like I said, you know, flash, fast forward 45 years, I've got this beautiful Skeeter FX20, um, you know, thanks to the partnership I have with Boatworks here in Springfield, Missouri and Skeeter Boats. But you know, the thing about bass fishing guys, if all this went away, I, I'd be just as happy out there in that leaking 16 foot flat bottom as long as I could bass fish. So um, you can, that's the great thing about bass fishing. You can enjoy it in any, any rig that you have. But um, like I said, really fortunate to be able to have this Skeeter right here. And so we're gonna do a walkthrough with her right now. Come First on. thing I wanna do before I take the cover off is man, look at this cover here. This is an upgrade from last year. They uh, Skeeter has put a different type of, uh, of uh, wrap or um, a boat, uh, excuse me, cover material on it. This is a lot more heavy duty, a lot more solid. What this allows you to do, it allows to tow your boat around the country with it. A tarp is super, super important because the thing about a good tarp is it protects your finish and also it protects the contents in your boat. If you have a tarp on there, you are much less likely to uh, get your you know storages broken into, but beautiful tarp here, fits great on the boat, looks great on the boat, so we'll get that tarp off okay, now. We'll start out at the back. It's got the 250 horse Yamaha VMAX on it. This thing, guys, ever since I've had the VMAX, all I've done is put gas in it and turn the key. I've never had one single time where the thing failed. It's like, I, I don't ever have to worry about it. I just get in there, turn the key, it's ready to go, economical, fast. This thing's a freaking awesome motor right here. Coupled up on it, I got a 25 pitch prop on there. Makes for a good hole shot and a good top end speed both. These are my workhorses here, guys. These are eight foot blade power poles right here. These things, you can see the blades there. I use these for a lot of different situations. Anchors me down to fish shallow water cover if the wind's blowing. They're great for keeping your boat in position if you're docking the, you know, your boat on the bank. You can also, if you're in deep water, you can put these things down and they will slow you down. And you can also get, um, you know, some fins on them too that really slow you down in deeper water like that. Another good thing about the power poles, guys, is you can trim them down if you're fishing around boat docks and just like put them halfway down and it really protects your motor and your boat from getting uh, hit on the cables there. So next thing we'll go to is the jack plate. Guys, I got a 10 inch Atlas hydraulic plate on here. Now a hydraulic plate, guys, is well worth the money. Well worth the money right here because what a hydraulic plate does, it allows you to do a lot of different things. It allows you to plane out in shallower water, you can take out in you know a foot less water than you could if you just had the motor sitting on the transom. Um, if you're idling across the flat for a long way, you can trim the thing all the way up and it makes sure your boat doesn't go like this as you're idling. Um, if you're running across a shallow flat, you can trim it up and not damage your prop like that. It's just a really good tool to have on the boat. So the next thing guys, we'll get into the battery compartment here. It's the powerhouse. I've got, 
I've got Dakota lithium batteries in here, guys. And these things are freaking awesome. Guys, if you have not tried lithium and you're scared about the price on them, they are well worth the investment. They last forever. I mean, for years and years and years. The thing about lithium above anything else, there's two things. They are super light. They just weigh a fraction of what a lead acid battery does. That really makes a difference as far as your speed and getting up on plane. But the thing I like about them is that you never have any battery drain. It's like all you it's like you can use these things for days in a row and the lithium will not like run down and juice. It's like you've got full power all the time until the things go completely dead. So it doesn't matter how close they are to getting where they're run down, they still give you full power. Guys, they are well worth the investment. Dakota Lithium, awesome, awesome uh, piece of equipment here. Okay, now let's get in the really boat. cool thing about the Skeeter boat is how much storage you have in it. Here behind the seats, you've got two super deep boxes, guys. You can hold just a ton of stuff in there, tackle boxes, clothes, whatever. Put a bunch of stuff on both sides with that. Guys, the live wells on these things are awesome. They've got not only a great circulating system on them, they've got an oxygenator in them. I've never lost any fish. I've haven't. I've never had one fish die since I've had this Skeeter boat. Fills up deep in there. You can put a giant limit of bass in there. It's got a divider. Um, just a really, really solid piece of equipment. Okay, guys, next we have the seats here. Man, these things are super comfortable. Thing about the improvement on the seats is, is you can bounce around in that rough water all day. It doesn't hurt your back at all. They're super comfortable on long runs. You know, bass boats 20 years ago would beat your back to death, but man, these things are like being in a lounge chair. Well, I really like these handles here also to grab a hold of. It's got a great cooler here, guys. I don't use a cooler too much. I usually use it for tackle storage, but for you guys that like to carry ice and everything, there's a really good tackle uh, storage there with it. Got a nice little, uh, little day box here, little storage compartment you can take out on the floor. Another little storage compartment here is usually where I put my wallet and stuff. And then the uh, co-angler area. Nice rod rack here. Nice handle there to hold on to. Got a little strap for your rod. Still control center. You got all your instrumentation there. You got a power steering here as far as adjustable steering. Super comfortable with that. You got your trim and tilt and your uh, jack plate uh, toggles here. Another uh, jack plate uh, gauge right there. You got an LED uh, control system here that controls all your bilges and your aerators and your lights, your horn. It's got some really cool interior lights. See, I don't know if you guys can see that Skeeter logo there, but that thing will light up at, at dark. It's really neat. And you got your live wells, live well control there, and you got your bilge, uh, you know, shut off right there. You know, battery plug in there, your oxygenator throttle. You guys know I don't use a hot foot ever, so I just use the, uh, the straight handles. That's the only way to go. Now the electronics on it, I got the same electronics guys uh, on the console and up front. These are Hummingbird Helix 12. Um, they do have 2D sonar, GPS, side imaging and down imaging. 98% of the time I only use 2D sonar. I could get by if this thing just had 2D sonar and GPS would be fine. Uh, no need for live scoping. I prefer to do real bass fishing and live scoping is not real bass fishing. Here's the port rod locker storage. Guys, this thing is massive right here. You can get like 30 rods into this thing, which I never carry that much. But the thing that's cool about it is like, you're not gonna ever want for rod storage in there. Holds rods over eight feet long, keeps them secure. You know, I like the dry deck on there, the C deck here. Sea deck on the floor, it's really nice because it dries out quick and you don't have a wet carpet. Really, really very functional with that. Um, the center storage here is where I keep most of my tackle here. It's got a place for boxes in there all the way across. You can get just a ton of tackle in there. Uh, comes with a net here, which is a really nice feature from Skeeter. So I, that's the net I use in the MLF tournaments. And then the, uh, the starboard uh, locker right here sort of the same it's a little bit smaller in there although you can get okay, next we got the rod straps here guys you can hold a ton of rods in here holds them super secure really like that feature there i've got the uh, mincota fortrex or excuse me the mincota ultrex 112 with spot lock on it this has been a really good solid trolling motor for me on there they've been performing uh, very well very functional um, nice simple setup here got the hummingbird helix 12 um, one of the advantages, guys, about using the same uh, uh, 
a depth finder forward and aft is that if you have one of them go down, you can just switch it out and you're not dead in the water. So I'd highly recommend using the same unit forward and aft. More toggle switches there. The trailer's really cool, guys. You've got a really neat feature. This step up here is huge when you're launching the boat as far as getting in and out of shallow water. Another step there. Good solid winch there. Got the crank there, spare tire. Trailer is second to none, guys. This is the most stable trailer I have ever seen in my life. It tracks perfect. You don't have any fish tailing with it. Loads easy on the, you know, the boat loads really easy on the trailer. Got some really good looking wheels on it that really are stable rolling down the road. They're super wide wheels and uh, just a really, really nice fishing rig here, guys. So there, there it is, my 2023 uh, tournament rig. Hey guys, there it is. Hope you enjoyed a tour of my 2023 tournament rig. Man, I'd just like to give a huge thank you to Bridgeford Food Corporation. I've been partnering with them since 2012. They are just the greatest people, the greatest company in the world. Huge supporters of the sport of bass fishing. Make the greatest beef jerky in the world, the Sweet Baby Ray Bridge for Beef Jerky. Also, a giant thank you again to Boat Works in Springfield, Missouri and Skeeter Boat Company for making all this possible. And like I said, guys, if you're looking for a just Skeeter Boat, Bass Cat, Camus, uh, just a wide variety, Express Aluminum, you know, Wake Boats, whatever, check out Boat Works here in Springfield, Missouri, as well as the Bait Works Tackle Store that's adjacent to it. So we'll keep you guys updated. You guys will be checking the boat out a lot over the next coming year. So thanks for tuning in. See ya.